All right, we're on hole number six. Let's go to Golf Clash Notebook and see what hole number six has to offer us. I try not to remember too much about the holes. So I like to look at them and, and do the deal. All right, you're going to make me tap it again. All right, so this is one of the new par fives. We're going to go over into this area right here. So my notes say, I'm sitting in the dark. Uh, that's par five, go for Albi. Extra mile, Titan. Let's go to our bag. We're gonna take an extra mile on a Titan. Faux show. And we're gonna use the wind, slight overpower 20% green shot with a guardian so our wind shot here is at 20% and we're using a guardian for our approach let's go back and make sure that's right yep and what I've been doing here because I you can make the shot from the rough and I I've I got out in the rough here actually I got on the rough kind of a little low down here and I was able to get on with the Nirvana so if you end up up here in the rough in the front should be fine but it's ideal to be using your guardian here so I took off a little bit of back or a little bit of top spin and I took the wind out but I still did an overpower shot so let's go back to here we got our clubs we got our ball we are ready to roll get that thing out of the way Hole number six. Ready to rock. Are you ready? I am wiped out. I had a sewer line go out in front of my house. We had to dig a deep hole. And replace the pipe, replace the water main. And fill it all up. Now I have to clean out my basement. Only part of it. It's just the area in between two drains, but it's enough. So I'm trying to get some golf in if I can get matched up before I have to, uh, before my helper gets here. How's my driving? I like it. All right, we're going first. We're gonna use not quite all of the top spin. We're a little shy. That's a max overpower. We're gonna take the wind out. And we're gonna put a little bit of right hand curl. Try to hit perfect. Getting a good bounce. Getting out there in the clear. A little bit of top spin and taking the wind out still puts you at 400, so you're still clear of the trees, but it kind of takes that rough out of play. But it is nice to know if you have a Nirvana, if you have a Nirvana, you definitely want to bring it on this hole. Like if you have a lower level Nirvana and you feel more comfortable with whatever one, this is one of those holes that you bring. It kind of like bringing an Amazon. You know, this might not be a bad hole for an Amazon because it has a lot of backspin. And it hits long. So if you could get it over. I'm not sure what its top spin is though. It might not be the club to bring because you might have to bounce it over the... I had to bounce it off of the next fairway and then get it over. It wasn't long enough to go and it won't be. So something with a little more top spin but still that distance. I think the only... Not unless you had a maxed out razor or... You've got that Amazon maxed out. Excellent shot by our opponent. They're at 398, and so they're still still clear of the trees. So you don't quite have to hit 400. There's max. There's mid. So we're men. So we're in about mid club. And our wind is 3-1. And I'm going to try and go right in the hole. And so we're at mid club, so that's 2-9. 
And we're gonna try and hit a perfect shot. Hitting perfect. Lined it up, we used our golf class notebook. And we missed it by that much. So that was all in setup. Plus it's a not as accurate a club. It's still pretty damn accurate at that point. I don't make those backspin shots very often. But it's awesome when you make them. So he's using a level 10 sniper, so we get a good read here. I think the way to go, if you had a sniper, if you had a club with a lot of topspin, is not to even try and do what he's doing, is to do a rough bump. And that way, you'd need a club with a lot of topspin. So even your, you know, your big dog, it has lots of topspin. And when it comes out of the rough like that, it tends to flatten it out. So it, it regardless of what the ball guide is, it tends to flatten it out. So you get a really good read on... But with a sniper, you got great ball guide and you got top spin. I would have, you know, in his situation right there, he didn't have to be as long as me. I was in mid club. So on a sniper, I would have been maybe towards max. I would have been mid club. I could have did a rough bump. That might be the way to go. That might actually be worth changing in my bag because this is one of those. I don't mind doing those rough bumps. And this might be one of those spots. We'll have to look at the hole when we get down here real quick. I don't normally like to, as the tournament goes on, make changes, but if I find a change that could impact my ability to make that eagle or make that albatross, then those are worth exploring as long as it doesn't risk your round. So let's see if our opponent forfeits. Or if I go first and I forfeit. I go first. All right. Let's go back to that hole real quick because I may make a change on my notes. And if we get in here, what our question is, is when you get in this area, you know, you're out in this spot. And with my guardian, I, you know, my max was on the, this side of the pen and my min was right here. So I was like in the zone. So I was mid where I was starting off to do a backspin shot, but if you brought your sniper, you, while he was a little bit shorter, not much, I mean he was still clear of the trees, so as long as you're clear of these and you're on that side of it, he tried to do the shot from here like I did, but what he could have did was use this rough right here and try and get out there to the hole. The problem is, is that if you have a club you try this shot and you have a club that doesn't have enough top spin. The top spin won't reach all the way to the pin. And so it'll end up, the ball will end up being short or you, you have no idea, but it's not going to get all the way to the hole. Or if you get caught up in the rough, then you're over here caught up in the rough. So you want to, you want a club with a lot of top spin, but you want to be close to the edge of the rough. So you got to make a little more precise wind adjustment. But if you bring a sniper, it's got a one, one mile per hour per ring accuracy so it's pretty easy to make the right wind adjustment I might bring my sniper on the next time around here in this practice account and see if that shots actually better for making that albatross because the backspin shot gets you close so that you can make an absolute for sure eagle but it's my percentage of getting an albatross with it or uh, in, in my opinion I, I will eventually get an albatross on this hole doing that but I'm not sure if it's something that I could ever count on <laughs> whereas if I could use my sniper and topspin I might be able to do it and I have the same level of sniper that that player had all right let's go back where were we at How was hole number six of the fall major for the rookie division in our opening round? Thanks for watching. Yeah, let's make sure. Let's make sure. I don't try and keep track of that stuff. I'm just playing the holes. Yep, there was hole number six. <laughs> Thanks for watching.